Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the most monumental channel here on YouTube. P E I B E D is my name. Welcome back to this show where we talk about the stock market, take a look at the news, and we even do some technical analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, today my voice is a little bit gone. It's been an interesting week, a lot of news, a lot of things, and let me know how did it go for you. This is the monthly candle close ladies and gentlemen the weekly candle close happy friday to everybody share with us in the chat room <clears throat> or in the comment section that golden nugget or that broken link that you want me to review ha huh. yes like the one that citron research had without secure socket layer but anyways guys wow happy friday to all i feel very very excited with everything that's been happening, the conversation, a lot of people now getting into the stock market, getting into the investment game, which it makes me very, very proud because we are ahead of the curve. Let me tell you all over here, we are. But I know, I know, I know that you may be wondering, David, what is happening with GameStop? David. What is happening with Sundial? David, what is happening in the pre-market? Well, don't go just yet because we're going to even check out Bitcoin with my friend Chewy. So hold on tight to your cows and CEOs, their panties, or your fur because we're going to get started with this crazy ride that we don't need any roads. Shoots and the deads, chewies and chewettes, I want to remind you all to go ahead and like this video. Do a Hadouk and why not is the free way to support this channel, the community. We're gonna grow, grow, grow just like Mr. Beast. Right, Randy? Oh, yeah! Yes, I have a lot of plans and we do the videos with a lot of love. Con mucho, mucho amor. Guys, and the Amazon gift card giveaway is still activated, so go to youtube.com slash D-E-I-V-E-D. You will find that video with the instructions there. Wow. Dudes and dudettes, I gotta say good morning to everybody. Betty Figuración, good morning. Bless community. I love your song. This one? Eduan Murati, Wasabi, my friend. Banana Sam, we're gonna cover SNDL. I'm actually... Gonna let you know how the show is gonna go. There's not a lot of stuff, but <clears throat> definitely we're gonna review Bitcoin. We're gonna check out news about Re Robinhood, about the retail traders, if they need protection. We're gonna do GameStop, Sundial, Pfizer, BioNTech, Johnson & Johnson, Fubo TV, iRobot, CRM, CRM, Salesforce, and NIO. We will check out the <clears throat> charts and I apologize about my voice today guys <clears throat> seems like a lot of excitement this week so maybe I will do the video like the happy trees Bob Ross inspira inspiration guys he was an inspiration in my book the early bird gets the mofongo there you go thank you J-Ho hey let's go ahead and move forward Ladies and gentlemen, before I take a look at the charts, I got to take a look at this article. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here we go, guys. Let me go ahead and add the stream marker, making sure that we are good. <clears throat> guys, I, I apologize about my voice, but it's uh, a little bit gone. <clears throat> so let's get started. Up early to watch my favorite show, and that's the David show. This is the David. No. How, how does it go? This is my favorite, oh, this is the David show, it's not the Green Tom show, this is my favorite show, because it is my show. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and remove this image and get started with Bitty Bitty Bitcoin. So look at this, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, ahead of the curve once again, we set it here, double bottom in the 50 EMA broke a minor trend line and Bitcoin spikes 20% after Elon Musk adds hashtag Bitcoin to his Twitter bio. Wow. The virtual currency climbs suddenly 
at around 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time, adding $5,000 in the space of an hour to trade at a price of $37,299. <clears throat> Musk added hashtag Bitcoin to his Twitter bio earlier today, Friday morning, and sent out a cryptic tweet saying, in, re in retrospect, it was inevitable. And that, my friend, deserves a boom shakalaka. It adds to the wild volatility in the markets this week as the stock prices of heavily shorted companies like GameStop surged dramatically. Bitcoin skyrocketed as much as 20% on Friday after Elon Musk added the hashtag Bitcoin to his Twitter bio. A virtual currency climb suddenly at around 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time, adding 5,000 in the space of an hour to trade at 37,299, according to data from industry site Coindesk. At 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, it was trading almost 18% higher in the last 24 hours at 36,905, ladies and gentlemen. And Musk added hashtag Bitcoin to his Twitter bio earlier Friday morning. He also sent out a cryptic tweet saying, in retrospect, it was inevitable. In retrospect, as you can see, guys, look at that beautiful tweet from Elon Musk, man. It was inevitable. So let's see. <clears throat> it adds to the wild volatility in the markets this week as the stock prices of heavily shorted companies like GameStop and AMC surged dramatically. Thanks to a rush of amateur investors inspired by a Reddit forum Wall Street Bets and the most monumental channel here on YouTube. Because, guys, let me tell you something. Wall Street Bets, great community to discuss. This show, we are ahead of the curve. Another subreddit group, Satoshi Street Bets, led investors to pump up the price of Dogecoin, a cryptocurrency inspired by the popular Dutch meme. Dogecoin was up 800% in the last 24 hours at one point. Bitcoin's price action had been relatively muted ahead of Friday. The world's most valuable cryptocurrency hit an all-time high of 41,940 earlier this month before sinking sharply a week later. It briefly fell below the 30,000 mark just last week. The digital coin is still about 13% of its all-time high, but up around 25% since the start of the year. Bitcoin more than quadrupled over the course of 2020, with crypto bull citing increased institutional investment as a driving force of the rally. It's not the first time most tweeting habits have led the spike in the price of an asset. The entrepreneur, most recently helped extend the rally in GameStop. Shout out to those GameStop holders. <laughs> Share price after hours Tuesday after tweeting GameStunk. I'm linking to the Wall Street Bets Reddit community. He should give me a shout out. <laughs> Meanwhile, shares of Poland CD Projekt surged as much as 12.6% Thursday after Musk tweeted that he liked the firm Cyberpunk 2077 game. Musk's addition of Bitcoin to his Twitter profile comes after much speculation about whether the Tesla CEO will buy Bitcoin or add the cryptocurrency to his electric car firm's balance sheet. <laughs> Discuss over here as well, guys. We are saying it. Ark Invest said it. <clears throat> We've been reviewing Michael Saylor's. As, as we look, the billionaire mail made set headlines after a Twitter exchange with Michael Saylor and CEO of software company MicroStrategy last month which came after a tweet suggesting that he was tempted to buy Bitcoin. Along with Jack Dorsey's fintech firm Square, MicroStrategy used its own balance sheet to buy Bitcoin last year. If you want to do your shareholders at a $100 billion favor, convert Tesla balance sheet from USD to Bitcoin. MicroStrategy boss Michael Saylor said at the time, in a response, Musk said, are such large transactions even possible? So guys, yes, it seems like that's what's going to happen. So MicroStrategy is holding an event the next week titled Bitcoin for Corporations. <laughs> Guys, I'm actually getting goosebumps right now. I'm actually getting goosebumps. MicroStrategy is holding, wow, Bitcoin for Corporation. When asked by CNBC's Morgan Brenner, which companies will attend, Sailor simply said there will be thousands and thousands and thousands of executives, officers, and directors, and advisors, corporations. Musk became the world's richest man earlier this month after a rise in Tesla shares helped his net worth surpass that of Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. And with that said, guys, let's take a look at Bitty Bitty Bitcoin. Bitty Bitty Bitcoin. Yeah, my voice is disappearing, dude. <laughs> 
my voice is disappearing. I'm telling you, man, I got a sore throat because of all the excitement. <laughs> Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Bitcoin doing some to the upside, 30,844. David, yep, we were ahead of the curve once again. People get excited over here. We were excited over here. <laughs> I'm telling you all, guys. That's why we do this every day. First of all, let's let's see what happened, okay? So we had to create a support level, right? It was needed. We were thinking about different areas that could have been created. It's not that Bitcoin was magically going to be doing this. No, it needed to find an area where price had issues in the past. And ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, <clears throat> support level created around the 28,000 and 30,000 level which is a good range, a good rejection area, as you can see, two times, various times, hitting the 50 EMA for the daily candles, okay, that was a good thing, we drew a minor trend line, that minor trend line, Edwam and I, Edwam, you know, long nights, huh, long days as well, <clears throat> discussing this, but David, do you think, Papo, Mira, minor trend lines once again, over, when this, when this happened, when this dip happened, Michael Saylor from MicroStrategy, Marathon Patent Group started buying the dip. They actually bought it at 31,180s. So that was my point of reference. I added that. And then when we see the rejections, it makes sense. Then we added the minor trend line just to confirm that the trend is going to be heading to the upside. Some call it the cup and handle. I call it, David, let's get up. Okay, let's go up. We're ahead of the curve, David. And we are, ladies and gentlemen, we are ahead of the curve many times. We said GameStop buys, I mean, I didn't say buy at six. I say GameStop had an opportunity to go up if he breaks the resistance of $7, and he did. I said AMC had an opportunity if he broke the resistance of $5. The same goes with Bitcoin. He had an opportunity once we broke this trend line and once we broke this resistance. The other thing that I want to keep in mind is that it actually broke the major downtrend trend line over here. So as we see right now, we had a bullish engulfing after that tweet. I was already getting ready here. The tweet came out over here when it went down. Thank you, Alan, for giving us that Hadouken. and giving the push that it was necessary. A lot of people are basically taking the profits from what they have done in the stock market. They're like, oh, the stock market is being manipulated. Let's go to something that is not regulated by the governments, which is, by the way, Bitcoin and obviously other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin right now, 37,452. Let me know, ladies and gentlemen, will we be able to break the resistance of 42,000 and go even to 50,000 or 70,000, which ARK Invest actually has said that if a company or if companies in the S&P 500 put 1% into Bitcoin, we're going to get there easily, guys, very, very easily. And I am very bullish on Bitcoin for the long term. And the other one that I want to review is Ethereum. Let's go ahead and don't, don't waste the opportunity since we're talking about crypto. And let's see over here, guys, Ethereum. Papo, mira eso. Eh, 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 yeah, eh, eh, eh. The event, but what, what, what is that? We're making profit, yeah. I still don't have a voice. I'm still singing. I'm crazy, guys. I'm crazy. <clears throat> a lot of excitement. A lot of excitement happening, guys. Very happy that the retail investors are getting heard. I think this is the time where we evolve the market, where... There's going to be a revolution for the people, by the people, companies, for the people, by the people. It's an interesting turn of events. And Andrew Yang, man, you inspire me so much. Shout out to the Yang gang. I know he's not president, but he's going to be doing great things for the world. And Elon Musk, 
Thank you for getting this out there. And as you can see, guys, in Wall Street Bets, amazing community. I don't think they should be banned or anything. I think it's just makes sense to have a place where people can discuss financials. It's fine. And Ethereum, for me, the first place to go is 1478. After that, I have a target of 1,640 and then 1,823. I do see Ethereum going higher. Yesterday, we reviewed an article where Reddit will be actually working with the Ethereum. Something very interesting. I'm very, very happy what is happening in the crypto world. And then, why not? Let's go ahead and do Dogecoin. Dutch USD. <clears throat> and Dutch did go up to $0.08. Cents. Now down to almost six cents, getting a little bit of a of a push, creating a support area, which is nice. So the beautiful thing about Dogecoin now, I know there's a lot of people that don't even believe in it, <clears throat> is that it's creating structure, market structure, and we can see that even the 50 EMA for the 30 minutes became a reality. It broke a trend line ahead of the curve once again, and go ahead and go up. But David. Do you enter? Yeah, I actually enter on this one at 0 0.08. Why? Because I had disposable income and I was like, well, it can happen. Let's see. And people are getting in it. It is insane what's happening. Let me know in the chat room. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about the crypto? Are we going to keep doing some? Or are we going to go to the bottom of the ocean? And this is SpongeBob. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me see over here real quick. Let me leave Bitcoin doing amazing. Very, very good. That means that Mara and Riot. Let me do Mara, Riot, <clears throat> and MicroStrategy before I move forward. But David, your voice is done. I know. My voice is almost gone, guys. I woke up and I'm like, dang it. I wanted to do an amazing show. And I always do an amazing show, but I wanted to do something that I felt, you know, a little bit better. But anyway, guys. We said over here, Mara was looking very bullish. As you can see, guys, mira para allá. Mara already pre-market going up from 1987 to 19% up, which is equal to 2367, guys. I said here that we, will, we could go to 43% or even 102%. That means the 43% equals to $28.58. And the 102% is $40.29. Great potential for Mara. Riot over here as well is the other one for those crypto companies. From 1993, we are currently at $24.33 or $0.22, cents, which equals to 22.27%. I do believe we can go to $29.31 and 36. After that, I even see 46 there's a long way for these kind of companies. I think we're going to kick some booty, guys. I'm very excited to see what it will happen. And then finally, MicroStrategy, which is Michael Saylor's company. Holy mofongo, guys. From 578 after that double bottom, we are up to $665, indicating, wow, guys, 15, around 15%, 14 to 15%. That is, that is insane. And that ass, it is insane. Elon Musk, keep on kicking booty. I am very glad that we're living in these times. Very revolutionary, very evolutionary for the markets and for the people. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry that I don't have a voice. I may be doing the happy trees, happy, happy trades voice, but we are here. We're going to continue kicking booty. My commitment is real for all of you. That's why I do these videos every day. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and review the chat room, leaving Bitcoin in the background, and say hi to everybody. So we already said hi to Betty Edouan Banana across Canada, Brandon Morris, J-Ho, Yes, I got a little bit of an, uh, my, my voice is disappearing, dude. Ginger pounded and boiled, put a little bit of sugar. <laughs> pounded and boiled, put a little sugar is a good for your voice. Thank you very much. I need some tea. That's what I need. Manuel Last, good morning. Good to see you. Daniel Olucina, AMC, GAME, and Naked. Wow. You and I are 
align. All right, all right, all right, community. Welcome, fat nuts. Hopefully, you're doing great. Hopefully, you you shaved a little bit and feel a, feel a little bit fresh. Amir, driving to work right now. Amir, just be careful driving to work. When you get there, hit the like button. Salty warm water is good for sore throat. Yes, I agree, I agree. But rumor has it. Jacob, Jacob, come on, don't play with me, bro. <laughs> Hello, David. Is because of Elon Musk's status on his Twitter? Madness. No, it's, it's only a driver, right? Let's, let's think about it. It's only a driver. News is just noise. It's the, it's the reason why it moves. We already knew the target. We just were expecting something to make the move, right? So something like Elon Musk doing that and the brokers having issues with investments from retail investors are the other drivers. And I do think that people got discouraged with the, the stock market. Does it mean that the people should stop investing in the stock market? I don't believe so. I actually think that we need people to invest in the stock market to make it work for the people. Those swings on the MT4 are soul crushing. It is indeed. <laughs> it is indeed, my friend. But you called it with the move of Bitcoin yesterday, David, because people lost a little trust in the market. Hey, man, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm the only one that says it. I think that it just made sense, right? And guys, I'm telling you all, patience is the name of the game. That's all it is. And we already knew that this was going to happen. It just was a matter of time. And even Elon Musk said it, dude. <laughs> Elon is, uh, can we check Jagas? He's been sleeping. Oh, yeah. We can definitely check that Jagas. 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 Um, <clears throat> Elon is now a Bitcoin investor. I don't think he, well, maybe. We need confirmation. But I don't think he's going to be Elon Musk. The important thing will be having Tesla invest in Bitcoin. That's where I think it's going to be important. Dimelo Papa, good morning. Oh, my SLV getting so much volume today. Oh, man, Robinhood CEO has been getting shots left and right and these other brokers. But you know what, DJ Mavstar? I think it's necessary. I think the situation was definitely necessary. The reason is now the situation will bring to light many things. And if Robinhood really wants to be public, this is the best situation for them. No, no, nothing less, nothing more. This is the best situation for Robinhood to go public, and it's going to be better. News broke, and it smashed it. Everyone going to Dutch are idiots. It's a meme coin. I'm going to be hurt. Hey, maybe you invested $50, and you're not going to get hurt. If you invested $50, that's nothing. People that get hurt are the people that invest at selling their, their freaking mortgage. You know, that's, that doesn't make sense. The new millionaires are being created. Indeed, my friend. Save the seals at the whales. <laughs> the revolution. Let me see over here. The revolution is happening and people will move in droves up to crypto. Yep. Uniswap is the future. I got the Dutch coin at two cents, 224 shares. Not Dutch is a meme coin as it does all the time. Bitcoin is going to double up again. Robinhood is not allowing buys until the funds finish processing. Do you think CleanSpark will go up like Mara and Riot? Uh, yes. CleanSpark actually owns Bitcoin. Actually, they mine Bitcoin as well. So it's already looking good. The reason, broke of a trend line. What we're looking now is a break of a resistance of 2950s. And it's already at 2769. Remember, guys, the end of the month. The end of the month. This is going to be an important candle. This candle for the monthly on CleanSpark, if it closes bullish, we're going to go up. Uh, let me see. Good morning, Marcenchi. Good to see you. I tell you, the golf voice is good sometimes. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the most monumental channel here on YouTube. <laughs> Rumor has it. <laughs> the second element mentioned it smashed it. Some Dutch. Ellen lit his fire. GME making me comments. <laughs> making me comments. Uh, Chris Cuomo brought the Thor hammer and that interview on Vlad last night. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I think we got to get to this article about Robin Hood. <clears throat> Good morning, JBC. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of things happening today. Bitcoin moving up. Oh, man, what a, what, a, what a Friday. I'm very excited to see what will happen next. Hopefully, you guys are doing amazing. 
let's go ahead and get started with this article. <clears throat> I apologize, but my voice is a little bit gone. So let's go ahead and get started over here. Let me see if the sound is good. Yes. By the way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We do the videos even with a th sore throat. Robinhood raises $1 billion, draws on bank credit lines to reopen halted trades. Hours after saying there was no liquidity problem, Robinhood drew on credit lines of high $500 and $600 million to meet lending requirements and separately raised $1 billion in emergency funding to avoid having to place further limits on trades. It's a significant amount of money for a firm that was valued at about $12 billion just a few months ago as users take their money elsewhere. See? Ba -ba -ba David! Wow! It's a significant amount of money for a firm that was valued at about $12 billion just a few months ago as users take their money elsewhere. elsewhere we pulled those credit lines so that we could maximize within reason the funds we have the to deposit at the clearinghouse. CEO Vlad Tenev declares saying it will allow limited buys of previously halted plays like GameStop and AMC on Friday, but will continue to monitor the situation and make adjustments as needed. As a brokerage firm, we have many financial requirements, including SEC net capital obligations and clearinghouse deposits. Robinhood continued in a blog post. Some of these requirements fluctuate based on volatility in the markets and can be substantial in the current environment. These requirements exist to protect investors and the markets, and we take our responsibilities to comply with them seriously, including through the measures we have taken today. Other brokerages <clears throat> appear to be giving similar reasons for the Thursday halt, attributing growing financial pressure as opposed to the shadowy motivations claimed by the retail bros. This has to do with settlement mechanics of the market. Weeble CEO Anthony Denier told Yahoo Finance, it wasn't our choice. Our clearing firm gave us a call and said, we're going to have to stop allowing you from opening positions due to high volatility. It takes two whole days for brokerages to fund trades with central clearing houses. And because of the volatility of the stocks, the clearing houses have made the cost of collateral for the holding period extremely expensive. We also cannot use customer funds to front that cost due to regulation. Which, by the way, makes me think there's a lot of companies using margin. And I hate using margin. I don't use margin, guys. Bottom line, the entire system needs more transparency. Where do you hear this first, guys? Robinhood allows the free trade. Uh, Robinhood, here we go. Allows free trades through a practice called payment to or for order flow or PFOF, which sends customers orders to high frequency traders like Citadel in exchange for cash. Orders may be also be filled at a slightly lower price, often pennies, than buying the same shares on a public exchange. While that may have enabled the commission-free revolution that led retail investors into the market, it has also led to a moment of reckoning over how healthy public markets should work and function. Ladies and gentlemen, Khan, if you already have a trading plan, you are already set. Morning to all. Morning to you, JBC. Thank you for being here. Looking nice, that hair, my bro. Oh, man, thank you for that. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of compliments today with my voice. It's gone. It's gone. No! <clears throat> Let's continue over here. But, Khan, welcome to the channel, my friend. Good morning. Good morning, Danny Corrales. So here we go. Uh, oh, we already reviewed this one, guys. So we should be fine with that article about Robin Hood. And this is the article that I wanted to review now. This is very important. I think everybody will be interested in this. By the way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. After this, guys, I'm going to be reviewing GameStop, AMC, Sundial. I'm going to do... Pfizer, BioNTech, Johnson & Johnson, Fubo TV, iRobot, CRM, NIO, Jaguar X, and I want to add over here Nokia. I want to add Naked. 
And for now, that's what we're going to cover, okay, guys? And then we'll see if there's something else that we want to review. I, I, I'm looking at this over here. CTRM is another one that we've been... Guys, we enter at 19 cents, okay? So we're way ahead of the curve. So this is the interesting thing, guys. You should go to that Wall Street Bets and say, hey, this is the most monumental channel here on YouTube. This is the David show. It's not the haters show. This is my favorite show. Because it is my show. If it was your show, I would like it too. Because you're doing what I am doing now. <laughs> Reddit, WSB, Wall Street Bets, names resume rally pre-market. The retail trading world is outraged at the trading limits imposed by Robinhood. Another brokerage yesterday and questions are circling about the protections that should be in place for investors, while Robinhood cited clearinghouse requirements as reasons for the stoppage, it also said these requirements exist to protect investors and the markets, and we take our responsibilities to comply with them seriously. Robinhood restricted trading in 13 equities amid a wild week of retail trading stemming from the WSB Reddit forum. They shoot out over there, the David show, but what am I saying? But those plays are soaring again in the pre-market. American Airlines, AMC, BlackBerry, Bed Bath & Beyond, Castor Maritime, Express, GameStop, Cos, Naked, Nokia, Sundial, TR, and TRVG. Investors <clears throat> and policymakers alike lambasted the trading limits, including Dave Portnoy, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and Ted Cruz, accusing the trading platform of seeking to protect Wall Street's interest at the expense of smaller investors. We need an SEC that has clear rules about market manipulation and they has the backbone to get in and enforce those rules, added Senator Elizabeth Warren, a longtime critic of Wall Street. You got to have a cop on the beat. How should market manipulation be defined? We are also talking about public markets here, where every share is only worth as much as people are prepared to pay for it, regardless of the fundamentals of the company. Regulators can't pick and choose which market participants are able to play in the market or the value or of healthy share prices, or can they? The pros are also going to have to get a whole lot smarter on how they take bets against companies if an army of day traders can be rallied within hours to make that bet go wrong. Thought Bubble, should a hedge fund be able to get 10x leverage and short 100%, 40% of a company in a healthy market? Should mob and herd mentality of rolling into stocks be curbed? Regulators may want to step in on both sides, but government bodies may also be fueling the bubble. Easy money policies from the Fed have also driven consumer out of savings accounts and CDs, encouraging more riskier behavior and flows into related products. I don't think it's that risky. I think it's an educated investment. If you do an educated investment, you shouldn't even be worried about. It's just that if you put the money in the bank, the bank will, the bank will use that money to invest it in, in the stock market. So it doesn't make sense to <laughs> to just let let me let me lend the money it doesn't make sense Robinhood reportedly raised one billion dollars from investors and drew as much as 600 million dollars from bank credit lines yesterday as it moves to open up trading in the squeeze names again and guys <clears throat> we said it here hedge funds they want to take your money they start with twenty thousand dollar deposit minimum they take $5,000 of that money, and then they promise you 5% after that. Banks with CDs, they kind of do the same. Uh, there was a time, a long time ago, where a CD will be giving me 4%. But what do they do with that money, guys? They put it in the stock market. When I was 15 years old, I learned about CDs. Weirdly enough. And I'm pretty old right now. I'm 34. I'm getting to almost 20 years I learned that. And I was like, why the heck? I want to put the money there. I want to have the money. I actually, well, by then, guys, I wanted to invest the money. I just didn't know how. The computers, brokers, we, we didn't have access to them like we do now. So even though, even guys, I know there's a lot of hate out there for brokers and all of this. But keep in mind, it is very important to have perspective that right now we're able to invest using 
our iPhones, okay? I'm sorry, this is the iPhone 20, this is the new model, Apple just sent me, but whatever. The thing is that we have the ability to invest using our phone. Back when I tried to invest, I needed a motherfucking computer, I needed to dial up with my 56K modem, you know how it is? And then talk to a freaking guy in New York, and I was in Puerto Rico, I was like, man, I don't know, I don't understand this, I, I need some help. But now, David created a show, and we're here. And then Wall Street Bets started a forum, started the conversation, and now everybody's starting to invest. It is a double-sided coin. It sucks that they have restricted some investments, but it is a good thing that now we are capable of investing. With that said, I think it's time to move forward with GameStop. I have an article over here. Well, I actually did the article. Let me see. No, there you go. So to follow with the story, and after this one, I'm going to move to GameStop, guys. Okay? So Robinhood CEO said the firm had no liquidity problem. So Robinhood CEO and co-founder Vlad Tenev said he had no limit buying of some stocks to protect consumers and the firm, according to interview on CNBC. There was no liquidity problem, and to be clear, this was done preemptively tenef said tenef said imposing restrictions was a very difficult decision tenef said the move was not done at the direction of any market maker hedge fund or anyone the firm routes to or other market participants we just hadn't seen this level of concentrated interest market wide in a small number of names before tenef said we understand our customers are upset <coughs> and i'm glad that they understand Earlier, Robinhood to resume limited buys of squeeze stocks tomorrow. Stocks pop to post-market. And this is the time to review those symbols in the previous article, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with GameStop. I don't have any specific articles about it. Let me see over here, over here. And GameStop is like the, the, the baby of all of this, guys. It is insane that GameStop became that company. A lot of nostalgia, if you think about it. A lot of nostalgia. Let's get started with the charts. GME is the symbol. And yesterday, GME had to close the gap. That's it. He had to close the motherfucking gap. And I have some people, some in members actually in this community that had a buy stop at 130s and he got activated. Right now, gain stop. Where are we right now, guys? Three hundred and forty six dollars look at this ladies and gentlemen already 74.3 percent GameStop has given us a range so but david if i didn't get in over here should i have gotten in over here no that's why we said over here you gotta be patient just to get the best opportunity the best opportunity was yesterday guys so yes there's a lot of people saying, oh, is the market manipulation, this and that. You know what? These kind of things always happen in the market, always happen. It's just that now the conversation is more mainstream, which I love. I love the volatility. I love that this is happening. I love that people are getting into the markets. But just to give you a little bit of peace of mind, these things happen. Not every time but it happens and the beautiful thing about our review over here is that we enter before the, before the move before the motherfucking move guys we've been in since six dollars seven dollars and it's starting to go up and i know that there has been a plan from somebody created a plan just to get a lot of buyers in it kind of makes sense but at the same time the analysis the technical analysis was on point. But David, where do you think this can go? A lot of people have a lot of speculation. Right now, it's all about speculation for GameStop. I think it can even go back to 480s. And after that, there's even potential to go to 1,000. It just makes sense. And that's it, guys. No fear of missing out. If you're not able to get in, don't be doing crazy stuff. Don't be doing, don't be selling your house. Don't be sell, dude, first of all, Always invest disposable income. Pay your kids school, food, house, 
clothes, all of the necessities for you. If you need to adjust your lifestyle, instead of buying Starbucks, buy coffee and do it at home. And then invest. That's the way to do it. If you are investing your mortgage, that's insane. I wouldn't even recommend that, guys. I need you to have a peace of mind. I don't want you to lose all your hair, okay? <laughs> and I want you to be successful investing. The next one that I want to review is AMC over here. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, guys, that my voice is very, very... Um, <clears throat> Almost done for the week. I need I need to rest. So, guys, as you can see, AMC, beautiful upside, heading to $20. Our entry is at $265. We retraced to $868. And pre-market, ladies and gentlemen, $12.13 equals to 40%. Congratulations for those who were patient. And I do believe that this one can go back up to $20. And looking at the weekly and the monthly, by the way, <clears throat> if we get to close above $12.83, we're going to kick some booty. Holy mofongo, thank you for the support, Alicia. Alicia, I apologize. My voice is not as great, but I will be doing some holy mofongo or something. Or salsa. But right now, my voice is a little bit gone. <clears throat> but let me tell you all, that the reason that I saw that this could go up was because we broke the resistance of 769. And after that, the retracement was definitely needed. The market never goes into one direction. The market goes up. The market goes down. And there's still potential for AMC, by the way, guys. Like I've been saying already, <clears throat> to go to $36. From our entry at 265, that will be equal to... Let me show you guys. 1,271%. Patience is the name of the game. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the motherfucking bell. Because we're doing salsa over here. Sorry, guys. I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> and then another one in the topic regarding all of this situation is Sundial. Who in here? has capitalized on Sundial. Who got in in SNDL before it got restricted? We sure did in this channel. Well, n some people in this channel did. I'm not recommending anything, guys. These videos are for entertainment and learning purposes. Keep that in mind. I'm just providing perspective of where the market can go. For example, in this particular case, after we reviewed Sundial when it was a 50s, 60 cents, by the way, we're way ahead of the curve. Sundial Growers raises $100 million capital through registered offering. Hmm. This is very interesting, guys. Sundial Growers has priced registered offering of 100 million Series A units, each consisting of one common share and one half Series A warrant to purchase one common share and 33 million Series B units each consisting of one pre-funded Series B warrant to purchase one common share and one half Series A warrant to purchase one common share. Each Series A unit will be sold at 75 cents, which we already saw the retracement, and each Series B unit will be sold at 75 Series B units. The five-year warrants will be exercisable at 80 cents a share. The offering is expected to close on February 2nd, which actually happens... <laughs> on Monday, is it? I think so. Is it Monday? Let me see the calendar real quick. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, by the way, how can I see my calendar over here? Anyways, guys, on February 2nd. <clears throat> Net proceeds will be used for the financing of possible acquisitions of investments, equipment facilities, assets, equity, or debt of other businesses, products, or technologies, and for working capital and general corporate purposes. Despite Trading restrictions by Robinhood. Sundial shares are up pre-market. Let's go ahead and take a look at SNDL. Let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of people over here got in, huh? <laughs> GM, GME dropped 150. Halt, then right back up. Yep. Now, this is the David show. <laughs> Rumor has it. <laughs> Rumor has it. Hadouken! Let's see over here, guys. <laughs> the sun. Sundial, oh, but David, you don't do analysis. David doesn't do analysis. No. We don't do analysis here, guys. 
You know why we're not that? You know why we don't have a million subscribers? Because we talk about things way early, too too early, in fact, guys. Ah, uh, and then a lot of YouTubers already that have millions and millions and millions of subscribers are getting the benefits of all of this. But you know what? I'm happy for that. I'm actually very, very happy that people are starting to open their eyes, how the market works. Shout out to Hamilton. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen Hamilton, you definitely got to watch that. Oh, my God. And Disney Plus, guys. Watch that ha Hamilton. You will be inspired. I was inspired a lot. So, and shout out to Lee Manuel Miranda, fellow Puerto Rican, man. Yo soy de Puerto Rico. I de Puerto Rico, bro. <laughs> so, let's see over here. Sundial. Closed yesterday at 79 cents. This morning is at 80 cents. Not bad at all for that move that we capitalize on. I actually capitalize on. The reason why I got in, let me show you real quick, guys. It's not because I read some forum or thing. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not even worried. Guys, let me keep, you, keep this in mind for all of you. I don't give a S or BS of what people say. I don't give a shit. A shit. I don't give a shente. Okay? About what people say. I do my own analysis. I do my charting. I do my reviews. And if it makes sense to me, I will get in. I got in once again because this minor trend line on the one hour got broken. That for me is a very important area to confirm my investment. We broke the trend line as we wanted. But David, things go up. No, things don't go up like that. Things go up and down. You went up, retested the trend line. We're ahead of the curve already. This is the curve forming. And it started to go up. And it went as, uh, as high as 125. The retracement not only comes from the limitation of buying more. The retracement comes from this registered offering. Okay, there's a reason why things go up and down. It's not only about having a lot of... It's, there's market manipulation, but at the same time, this is what makes it move, okay? This offering at 80 cents, 75 cents. It went there, and it just continued with the upside. Right now, it's starting to look very interesting to me in the weekly because we're bullish. By the way, it reached our first target, guys. Our first target was 125. But David, how do you know? As you can see over here to the left, there was an area where price was having issues. As you can see, support levels there, creating resistance. We reached the area and it went down. If you look at the monthly, which will give us a better perspective, it reached the 14 EMA. So there's a few things that I want to see before we can continue with some more upside. And that will be a break of this 14 EMA on the monthly at 150. If we break above that 150, we're going to go up. And guys, the exponential moving averages are starting to cross on the weekly, on the daily. They're already doing it. And what I want to see to confirm all of this is a $1 target. If we close with a bullish candle above $1, we're going to continue with some more upside. Will it happen today? Not necessarily. Can it happen next week? It can. So be patient. Patience is the name of the game. There's no other way to do it, guys. Things go up and down, and that's how we capitalize over here. Right, Randy? Oh, yeah! Thank you, Randy, for your support from Sundial. Let me see over here, guys. Let's see. Um, there was something else that we needed to review. Let me check out this article. No, this not. <laughs> I already did this. Um, AMC, we did. No, AMC, we ha yes, we did it. We did it. And then I saw that we needed to do Nokia, right? <clears throat> Let me do, um, I'm going to do Nokia, Naked, and CTRM. I'm going to do it right now because I'm on fire with this, okay? I'm like in the flow. So let's see if Nokia has any articles. This is the David Show. Welcome, SoCal. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, Jacob, everyone give David a like for that. That's true. It's coming to the light, guys. It is. It is coming to light, bro. We're way ahead of the curve, man. We're so ahead of the curve that we're not trending. It's insane. <laughs> it's like people said a lot of things about visionaries. And it's like they say, oh, man, they were too early. 
<laughs> they've been saying it for their whole whole life and it's like man oh my god oh wait at the this came out at 7 55 a.m guys okay this is something interesting that we got to review so let me before i get to nokia i want to review this one but we're gonna do nokia okay so Robinhood resumes limited buys of squeeze stocks, limits crypto trading. Holy mofongo, now they're limiting crypto trading. <laughs> Robinhood is allowing customers to add a limited number of shares to long positions of stocks. It restricted trading in yesterday, although buyers won't be able to add fractional shares. Okay, that's fine. It is also restricting crypto trading due to the extraordinary market conditions. Bitcoin shot up to 37K on a boost from Elon Musk. We already knew that. We reviewed it. You can now make limited whole share buys of the securities that were temporarily position, uh, position closing only. You can still sell or close fractional positions. You cut, you can't currently open new fractional positions. If you add a recurring investment in these securities, they will be paused until the limitations are lifted. Robinhood also limited the amount of shares or options that can be added. Users will be able to add only five shares of gain stops. 25 of KOSS and 115 of AMC, for example. Robinhood CEO Vlatinev hit the airwaves late yesterday to defend his company's decision to limit trading, denying any outside influence by its order flow customers or market makers, and denying a liquidity problem. He said it was a preemptive move that was required by regulatory commitments. The company reportedly tapped investors for $1 billion as well as its credit lines from banks for further cash. This is not bad. Actually, I, I, I am glad that this situation is happening. It, it needed to happen, guys. So let me go ahead and take a look at Nokia. I think Nokia deserves to be reviewed. I'm a bull on Nokia for the longest time. We've been talking about it since the market crash. But David, Nokia doesn't do phone. No, do Nokia works with technology. Nokia works with patents. Nokia works with antennas, with 5G, and they're working on 6G. And they have a contract with NASA to work on a motherfucking lunar antenna. We already reviewed it, guys. We're ahead of the curve. You're going to see, guys. I'm telling you all, guys. Mira, right now, you see this $60, $62 level? I've been saying this since last year, guys, since the market crashed. The important thing is to keep in mind, always invest disposable income. And you're going to be seeing pretty soon... Once we get to $12, there's going to be a lot of videos of YouTube about Nokia. And you're going to be saying, dang it, but David didn't talk about this one a long time ago. And I'm going to be saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hell yeah! We talked about Nokia for quite a while. So Nokia had to retrace once again after it hit 983. Pre-market, we are at 498. I don't mind the retracement. I actually appreciate it. Some people might be mad. But the things go up and down, okay? For me, next steps to confirm our direction will be that weekly closing bullish above the $5. The monthly above the $5. If we close above the $5, is a good indication where we're heading. This, got, this, this spike over here, guys, this happens all the time. This is telling us, hey, David, the bulls want to take over. There's a lot of buyers in it. You just got to be patient about it. So let's be patient, guys. Once we break the trend line, we can get more opportunities to continue with some more upside. Holding strong. I'm telling you all, guys, this is what it does. It goes up. It goes down. It's nothing bad. The market does it. And I think Nokia has a great potential. Cybersecurity, 5G, 6G technology, lunar antenna, what else do we need to provide you clarity with? Nokia makes sense to me. Some people call it the sleeping giant. I call it the opportunity that we've been waiting for quite a while. Ladies and gentlemen, and okay, let me know what do you think. Will Nokia be continuing doing some? Or will it go down to the bottom of the ocean and visit SpongeBob? Bobby? Happy seeds become happy trees. Happy trades, happy life. N-A-K-D, ladies and gentlemen. N-A-K-D. Oh, let me see, guys. <clears throat> let me see over here. 
First of all, Sunday out, 15 cents strikes my guy. July, exactly. That's so true. What is true? <laughs> Solus Prime, welcome to the channel. I'm loving it. Loving the icons of the coins, guys. I'm loving that. Um, I agree quality is better than quantity. Hello, millionaires. Good morning. Voozy, support resistance of Voozy. I like that you're saying Voozy, but what exactly about it? Can you take, talk to me a little bit about it? Um, <clears throat> facts. Seems they have an offering every other day. Bitcoin looks like it's getting frisky for a 50K push. I honestly expect a rally into Bitcoin into the stunk fest cash out. We said it yesterday, man. Cool, calm, and collected. Love it. It's Mar E. Mar! Good to see you, my friend. Espérate, Mar E? Mar E from where? Welcome, welcome. Did I work with you? M. Torres, I saw your video, La Manzana de Adán. Were you the best player, David? Yes, I was the bass player. I used to do harmonies. And I was the producer of the album of Santiago MZNA. The first album he released. We were going to be releasing as a band. But the band, you know, shifted. Everybody had their own opinion on how to run things. And you know what? I, let, I told him, just release it. And that's it. But yes, guys. And I'm going to be releasing my music pretty soon, too. But maybe if David was famous, the real truth will be suppressed. The, tr the real truth was, I don't know, man. Just about $3 worth of Bitcoin. Well, that's all I had available. And that's fine. Matthew, congratulations. That's actually good. I recommend adding little, how much you can. You don't have to buy. You don't have to sell your house. And don't do that. Don't do that. That's fine. That's fine. Sundial, we already did. Kwang Suk Lee, hopefully you're here. And if you saw it, good. Good market cap and it's undervalued with its potential outstanding value. Nokia has a fight ahead of it, but it can be done. Has been under hostile takeover for a while, though. Near, we already did Sundial. Dale rewind al case, bro. We already did it. Like, I'm, guys, I'm losing my voice already. I can't go back once again. I'm, I'm like, my voice is already gone. I need to, I need to conserve it. But if you can... Go ahead and go dale rewind al cassette or just be patient with me. I can take a look at it once again at the end of the video. If that's fine for you, I'll, I'll do it. But be patient with me, okay? So we're going to take a look at naked. And not we're not going to do this naked. I'm fully clothed. It's, it's important to be clothed over here in YouTube. The highest we've been, the resistance level for naked is $1,133. We got another resistance level at 669, 450s, 137. Let's go ahead and look at the weekly and see what we got. Because the important thing, let me go ahead and zoom in in the monthly first. So the important thing is to keep in mind, guys, today the monthly candle will close, okay? And we already were expecting for Sundial to go up. $8.10 over here makes sense to me. And even this resistance over here makes sense of $34. Let's look at the weekly, guys. The weekly chart shows us that it is still bullish, especially if you look at the pre-market price. Is that 170 Nah. Let me see over here, guys. Entries of naked were done at $0.13. Cents. But, David, $0.13? Cents. $0.13. Cents. So low investment high reward so right now naked brands is at 171 ladies and gentlemen so that means that since our initial investment of 13 cents we are up okay a thousand hundred and sixty eight percent that for me is amazing I think we can go to $4 very easily. Will it do it today? Not necessarily. But I'm very bullish on Naked Brands. The structure that we have gotten from the chart makes sense. The retracement definitely was needed, guys. It could even retrace to $0.79. Cents, but with the way the market is pushing, I don't think Naked Brands will go that low. I think it kind of makes sense to me. Revisiting 341s, very, very likely scenario. I'm liking it, and <clears throat> what I want to see from Naked Brands, maybe not today, but maybe uh, next week, will be a close above $2.20 on the weekly, a close above $5 or $4.50 will be insane. That will be an amazing opportunity, guys. 
And I think this is the time for everybody who has been working hard, putting their money to work. I think this is going to be our time. I told you all, before the elections happened, we were going to have a new administration. We were ahead of the curve. We already knew that EV stocks were going to go up. We knew that the biofuel were going to go up. Data analytics were going to go up. Retails were going to go up. And now the technology with Software as healthcare is going to be another topic that's going to go up. And we've been doing this every day. So go ahead and subscribe. Smash the like button. I, I have to say smash because that's the word the YouTubers use. Right, Randy? Oh, yeah. And naked for me. As I said, once again, if we close this about 225, we can continue. The weekly going to $4 and the monthly seems to be like he wants to go to $8. After that, we can definitely review once again. I do have other targets, but I want to keep it in the short time frame. I just want to see what it will do next because I'm very excited with how the market is looking. And we do these videos with a lot of love. Con mucho, mucho amor. Okay, guys, from Naked, let's go to CTRM, Castor Maritime. You can hit the like button. No, near. I, I just want to make sure that... <laughs> I just want to make sure, near that uh, you are able to go back and see it because we already did it. It's just, man, it sucks that I I'm losing my voice because ugh, I've been so excited this week, guys. So so much excitement. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, man, I know, guys. Castor Maritime, we enter at 19 cents. Once again, ahead of the curve. And David is not getting the million subs, but we're going to get there, right, Randy? Oh, yeah. With time, with time. It's just that I'm going to tell you guys, there's some YouTubers out there that are watching my videos and they're starting to do the same. And the important thing is for me is that I am glad that a lot of people are starting to notice that we need to be part of the economy. And the, literally, the economy is the stock market. And, and a lot of hedge funds have controlled that. So if you think about it, a lot of decisions that have been happening in the government is because the hedge funds were leading the way. So now the retail investors will be the voice. Very excited and happy about it. I'm, I'm, I do have a lot of haters out there, guys. I don't care. I really don't. They actually inspire me because it shows us that our analysis is on point and what they're saying is wrong. So I just show results over here with the charts. $19 was the peak or the highest high Castor Maritime has done at $19. The weekly, as you can see, is still bullish. Pre-market from $0.61, cents, we are at $0.67. Cents. I do believe if we close above $0.76, cents, we're going to go up. The daily, as you can see, we are above already the $0.55. Cents. That, for me, is a game changer. The other thing that I like is that the exponential moving averages from the 14, from the 50, EMA already crossed. The next one is the 200. This is going to be the toughest cross ever. So it's starting to look good even on the 4-hour because the exponential moving averages are already crossing. I like that. And that means that we're going to get some higher highs. We said it here, guys, that the next 2 to 3 years, we're going to be creating higher highs. The market doesn't go up like this. No, the market doesn't do this. All the time, the market does that and goes down and then goes up. That's what you need to learn. Right now, it's doing it. As you can see, it went up. It went down. Not that much, but espérate, give me a second, guys. It went down. <clears throat> and now, this is the move that I'm waiting for. Does it make sense? Guys, I really think it makes sense. Oh, oh my goodness. CTRM, come on. Let's go. Let me leave Bitcoin over here in the background, guys, for now. Bitcoin currently at 37649 Ah, oh, Guys, we're going to break 42 k and you're going to see we're going to go to 70000 I'm sure about that. I think we're going to get there. Let me review over here the chat room real quick. So, Bitcoin about to pump again. Good morning, game lover. Good mofongo morning. Stranded in PR. Keep in mind, my voice is almost gone, guys. Waka this weekend is Bitcoin. All the stock profits going to Bitcoin. We said that yesterday, Solus Prime, but I'm glad that you are 
saying the same thing I was said yesterday. Um, big massive dip in AMC. Any reason why? AMC. We already reviewed AMC, <clears throat> but AMC. That means a lot of people taking profits. It's no specific reason, but AMC for me, as I said already, it's already going up, man. I don't know wh what you're saying. AMC went to went down to 771. It needed to retrace. Do you think the market goes in one direction? No, guys. The market goes up and down. Needed to retest the broken resistance levels. It's at 1286 right now pre-market. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> And by the way, Sundial for you, my friend, <clears throat> since I already reviewed it, Sundial for me is still a buy. It's at 79 cents this morning. The EMAs are crossed for me on the daily. As you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time, but if we close above that $1 level, it's going to continue. But David, the way you break it down and show us is different because no matter how much I try to watch others, this is the, this is the David show. This is not the Green Tom show. It is my favorite show because it is my show. If it was your show, I would love it too because the entertainment and the information is good. <laughs> Woke up, grabbed the phone. Bitcoin didn't shut up to 80K. But we're at 37,000, so it's going up. I had a feeling, I had a feeling, a feeling deep inside. Oh, yeah. Dude, my voice has been working hard. You already know, man. <clears throat> but, yeah, we already expected Bitcoin to go up, man. Like, Bitcoin for me, long-term investment. I got some target of 70,000, 100,000. I got the target of 400,000 and a million. There's so many potent, so much potential, guys. That I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. <clears throat> a lot of potential here. So let's go ahead and move forward with Pfizer and BioNTech. The reason why I want to review is because there's been a lot of news about the virus strain, and I think it just makes sense to do it since we do the news over here. And Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 shot safe for elderly, says Bloomberg. <laughs> Europe-wide review found that Pfizer and BioNTech coronavirus vaccine. You know, Cardi, do you, do you, do you have the honors? Cardi, do you want to do it? Or are you a little bit timid? I guess what, bitch? What? <laughs> coronavirus! Coronavirus, exactly. Thank you, Cardi. And you look beautiful today. You look amazing, Cardi. Oh. <laughs> um, vaccine is safe for older people with no link between the shot and the deaths of elderly vaccinated people. The EMA safety panel analyzed deaths in light of other medical conditions the people had, as well as the fatality rate for corresponding age groups, the EMA said in a statement. The data did not show a link to vaccination with Comir Nadi. The panel wrote using the Pfizer BioNTech shots brand name, and the cases do not raise a safety concern. Report of deaths in Norway earlier this month caused concern around the world, with people watching for signs of potential side effects from the vaccines. But we already know that the vaccines are actually working out. And we're going to take a look at Pfizer and see how it's performing today. Because yesterday it did drop. I'm still waiting for Pfizer to go up. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to get there. This is why I do the videos every day. And it seems like having a buy stop was the smart thing. Because Pfizer today from 35.84 is already at 37.84. 59, which is 4.8 percent. For me, the break of resistance will be a beautiful thing. Going to 43.11 will be ideal. And why do I think it can go up? Because they're going to get more orders from the United States and other parts of the countries. Once they confirm all of the data from the vaccines, that will be even better. The other thing that I tell everybody in this channel is to consider having a portfolio that pays dividends. If you get paid dividends, you don't even have to worry about getting in and getting out. Mira para allá, guys. It already broke the resistance. <whistles> Man. Here we go, Pfizer. Here we go. Round two. Fight. Fatality. And then BNTX, BioNTech. <clears throat> we already reviewed as well. BioNTech for me was a buy as well after the break of resistance. BioNTech, ladies and gentlemen. Holy mofongo. Already going up. Mira para allá. 5.5%. Oh, 
<laughs> to the upside, as expected, our entries. Not we're only done at 113, but we're done over here at 69.65, or my entries, actually. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I just provide perspective to everybody with a lot of love. Con mucho, mucho amor. In BioNTech, very ligated, very, uh, very much part of what is the vaccine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is looking very, very good. I'm actually liking this. Yes, I need some tea. I agree. <clears throat> Hospital in Europe are collapsing. The same effect will reach the U.S. by March. February will transfer my assets to crypto. Danny, I don't think we're going to get to that point. I think we had need to have a little bit of more optimism. I'm going to be very honest. I think the vaccines are working out. My sister, she actually, my sister, she had the two Moderna vaccines. And you know what? She's okay. She's doing well. She's fine. She didn't even have an allergic reaction. And she's doing amazing. And now the second phase is going to be the elderly. Danny, I want to... I want to invite you to have a little bit of optimism in our lifetime, especially in such dark times that we have lived in one year and so many months. I think we need the optimism. I think we need to get there. I know there's a lot of bears out there, which is fine. Bears have to eat. But at the same time, I want to promote the message of a little bit of more optimism. We have worked hard, very, very hard to be where we are at. Europe may have some cases, but they need to start rolling out the vaccine, and that's going to happen, and I think we're getting there to a good point. But always having the optimistic side, and then the other side, which we need to think about, because we need to have plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So keep that in mind, my friend. I invite you to have a little bit of more optimism. That's it. <clears throat> Gennaro Di Carlo, what's up? Good to see you. Got a ticker at the end of the show that I haven't heard and talk about about lot <laughs> lately at last and right now it shows 37 watching and 23 likes always different from what you say always different from what you say wait what if she turns into a zombie let us know <laughs> it won't happen bro <laughs> dude my sister is already a zombie <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding she's actually an amazing person guys i'm, I'm making a joke <laughs> it won't happen guys I don't think it will. There's so there's enough data. The thing that I want you guys to keep in perspective with these kind of things, and I worked I have worked in the healthcare industry already, guys. It is about data. The important thing over here is about the data numbers. It's not about having a study faster, it's about the data number. What is that number? Right now we have too much data in in fact. We have so much data that we're able to identify so many things. We weren't able to do that with other viruses because there weren't a lot of people infected with them or people trying to get into the clinical trials. The clinical trials have an amazing number, and I think that makes sense. Data, data is the new oil, guys. I'm telling you all. Trust data. Data makes sense. Have you done have you done math? <laughs> have you checked out the average number of things? Does it make sense? Do you guys do you guys do data with sports? Why why can't that be applied to our decisions in life? Like technology, like decisions in our government. We need those motherfucking data. We we can't be we can't put the the hand to the sun. We need to understand why the sun is so bright and how it can impact us in our daily lives and and not go to the moon. We can go even further than that. Let your imagi imagination go wild, guys. That's one of the things I used to love about Disney. It's just the imagineering, you know? <clears throat> Let me see over here, guys. And <laughs> the elbow <laughs> the elbow <cut. laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, the Obokov. Can you provide some ideas for entry for Mara? Mara was already an entry, man. We already provided the entries, but I'll I'll get back to it. Um, TSE construction. I'm a little bit out of uh of my voice. If you want to go back, I already review Bitcoin, Mara, Riot, MicroStrategy. Check it out. If you're patient with me, I can definitely take a look at it afterwards. 
But uh, today I have the Bob Ross voice. Happy trees. <laughs> We say happy seeds, happy trees, happy trades, happy life, happy mistakes. <laughs> Once approved, <laughs> J&J to initiate U.S. supply of COVID-19 vaccine with 2 million doses. This is This was the the most the, this was the 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 interesting thing guys that I can't believe that happened with the government but anyways I want to review the the article beautiful TSC beautiful our entries were actually lower than that but I am very glad that you had an amazing entry point my friend amazing Johnson and Johnson <clears throat> will deliver about 2 million doses of its COVID-19 vaccine when it receives emergency use not in U.S., according to a government accountability office. J&J is expected to report clinical trial data on the experimental shot's efficacy by early next week, said CFO Joseph Walk earlier this week. The company aims to have seen manufacturing facilities running by the end of the second quarter to ramp up supply, Walk said. J&J expects to supply 100 million doses to the U.S. government. There you go, guys. That's all we needed. We needed to buy more. Ugh. In H1 2021, said a spokesman for J&J. Also recently, FDA Commissioner Scott said the company could have tens of, tens of millions and millions of COVID-19 doses by end of February. With that said, I'm going to take a look at J&J because J&J, we've been talking about it for quite a while. Man, but 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 David, what is that? We're making profit. We're making profit. But but David, what is that? Johnson and Johnson is going up, guys. I've been saying Johnson and Johnson up <laughs> for quite the time. We broke the resistance over here. The, this was the last entry, and right now J and J is down to 162. That's an opportunity for me, and it's actually going back to the trend line. If you think about it. Look at see over here. Let me go ahead and adjust this to my EMAs. I don't want to add too many lines. Let me go ahead and do this. And by the way, <clears throat> the other thing that I see on the daily is that it left a gap behind. What I want to see now is the weekly. Weekly now turning a little bit bearish pre-market. But the monthly, which is the most important one for me, is still bullish, which is very, very good. We already know that Johnson Johnson is working on this. So let's be patient about it. I do believe the leaders from all of this is Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. Johnson and Johnson is trying to keep up. So since I've mentioned Moderna, let's go ahead and take a look at Moderna. <gasps> David, what is that? We're Moderna. It's Moderna, guys. It's going up. Oh my God, guys! Look at that. Oh, Modernis. Where are you, Moderna? The pre-mark. Oh. Moderna deserves a boom shakalaka. TSE construction. This is the David show. It's not the Green Tom show. This is my favorite show because it is my show. So I do whatever I want, right? Because if you, if I weren't an, a Johnson and Johnson and I didn't move a Moderna, you wouldn't see the opportunity we already capitalized on. You know? Look at this, man. We capitalize on this love opportunity 43 motherfucking percent ladies and gentlemen not bad at all by the way which one do you want me to review mara i already did mara did i say to you go ahead dale rewind our cassette I, I'm, a, i'm losing my voice can you understand that a little bit my friend can you consider that or are you gonna wait until i do mara there's two there's two potentials either watch it now or watch it a little bit later Give me a second. Be patient. Have you been investing how many months? One month, two months, or four years? Because if you have been investing for many years or months, you understand that patience is the name of the game. That's it. If you're patient with me, you will see my analysis. Moderna did exactly what we wanted to do since our minor trend line being broken over here. Following the trend line over here very, very nicely. I believe that it could have gone down... Well, actually, it went down over here, guys. You see that it went up and it went down. We tested the trend line and it went continued with the upside. 43% for Moderna. Congratulations for those who capitalized on this opportunity. 
And let's go ahead and take a look at one of those companies. Six months. There you go. So TSC, what I want you to understand, patience is the name of the game. That's it. When you are patient, you will get results. I'm telling you, my friend. And this is with everything, especially in the stock market. So just give me a second. We'll get there. We're going to get to Fubo, iRobot, CRM, NIO, Jaguar X, and Boozy. And then after that, I can go back to Mara. You know what? I'm going to do Mara for you now. I'm going to do Mara. Why? Because you're new. I think you're new. And I, I have a good heart. And we do these videos with a lot of love. <gasps> bitty, bitty, Bitcoin. Ladies and gentlemen, Bitcoin is going up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bitcoin is going up. Uh, 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 up, 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 up. Ladies and gentlemen, going up. I want to see that break of resistance. So let me look at Mara once again. A marathon patent group definitely already going up to our target. Look at that. $28.42 is our target. And we are already up from our last positions, 23.6%. What I want to see is a break of a resistance of 28.63, which could be a buy stop over here to continue to the next target, which is $40, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful. Not bad at all. I'm just happy that we are capitalizing on the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it. And you know what I call that? We're doing some... Boom shakalaka! Hello? Yes, we're doing the boom shakalakas. Yeah, I had to do it, dude. I don't care about the haters. Yeah, pss. Do you think I care about the haters? I care about being ahead of the curve. Yeah, I've been saying it. Technicals help us. They don't under... Yeah, exactly, bro. I, I understand what you're saying. I Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want to give the message to the haters? Yeah, sure. Put a little icy hot on it, turn it sideways, and take it straight up your candy ass. <laughs> okay, bro, I'll talk to you later. Wow. Oh, no. That's going to hurt for the haters because we're capitalizing over here, guys, for quite a while. Wow. Now let's go to Fubo. Let's go to Fubo. Got Bitcoin at 29. Nice. That's the best price. I entered two at 29, bro. Very, very good. Very, very good. We got 40 viewers, 38 likes. I'm loving the energy over here, guys. I'm loving it a lot. So this is going to be a very interesting article. And Fubo TV, another one that is in the short squeeze list. But here's the thing with Fubo. <laughs> Can, so can somebody tell me something important that's going to be happening pretty soon regarding sports? What is, it, what is the big event for football called? Can somebody tell me in the chat room right now what is that event called? Anyways, Football TV prices 350 million convertible senior notes offering. So Football TV has priced $350 million of 3.25% convertible senior unsecured notes due February 15, 2026, in a private offering. Offering is expected to close on February 2nd. Initial purchaser granted an option to purchase up to an additional 52.5 million of notes. Interest will be payable semi-annually in arrears <laughs> on February 15 and August 15 of each year, beginning on August 15, 2021. Fubo TV estimates net proceeds of $338.4 million. Net proceeds will be used for general corporate purposes and shares are already up pre-market. Let's do Fubo TV. Thank you, Jason Park. It is called the Super Bowl. So Fubo TV, they're actually consolidating a lot of stuff into one platform, even online betting, which is a huge topic in this year. And Fubo TV, guys, even though it went down, it was necessary. Mira, mira para allá, guys. Do you see that motherfucking arrow there? We already knew that this could be going down once again because we need to create higher highs and higher lows. Where are we pre-market? $43.81. We are up 10%. Exactly where we wanted to see the price go to. And it bounced very, very nicely, guys. Fubo TV for me, it is a very strong player in this area, even though... A lot of short squeeze coming up. I do believe we're going to create some higher highs pretty soon. Needham is a little bit hungry. He's in the same position as oh, me. Yeah. Holy Mofongo, thank you very much. Destroyer of false 
Profits. Thank you for that. Buenos dias and prosperity to all. Manito, can you please check Ricey for me? I feel that they are super cheap. Yes, Rolls Royce. Yes, we can take a look at Rolls Royce. I can do it after this one. It is a penny stock, though. Keep that in mind. But we can definitely do some technical analysis. And destroy your false profits. Can you share the love? Can you share this channel on your Instagram? I, I've seen you, man. I've seen you killing it. But, hey, a little bit of bump from your followers wouldn't be bad, huh? <laughs> Just want to share the love with everybody over here. So Fubo TV already 10% pre-market from our area of support. I do like Fubo TV for long term. If it goes down, it's a blessing. It's an opportunity. Definitely something to keep an eye on, especially with the Super Bowl coming up. I swung Fubo, Solus Prime. You and I, we're in the same mindset, my friend. Sonic Boom! From Fubo TV, let me do Ricey because... Our friend Destroyer of False Prophets has blessed us over here <clears throat> with his donation, with his super chat. So Rolls Royce, the only article that came out was Rolls Royce's 2.7 billion in cash outflows this year. A new FAA rules aim to reintroduce supersonic commercial flight. And let's go ahead and review Rolls Royce, Risey. And this one, we actually reviewed, shout out to Christopher Ainong. He actually brought it up a long time ago in Ricey, Rolls Royce, a penny stocks. Um, as you can see, it went as low as 136. The monthly still bearish on this one. No confirmations yet. But for now, what I do see is the start of a lot of bullish candles. I want to see a little bit of more confirmations. I'm going to be very honest. From Ricey, <clears throat> I want to see... Minimum, minimum, a break above 150. If we get to go above 150, we have an opportunity to go up to 23% equals to 185. The weekly looking over here. The next stop will be from 185 to 361, 138%. And then after that, it can even go up to... If it breaks, right? If it breaks the resistance, the trend lines can go to $8, 425%. Not bad. Not bad at all. Be loading on Ricey and they pay dividends. Woo! That's good. That's good. That actually is very, very good. And Ricey is working on a jet engine. Yeah, they actually work on jet engines. That is true. Um, And ladies and gentlemen... We can definitely, AMC is at $13, guys, $13, not bad at all. Let me go ahead and do something over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And let's go ahead and move forward, guys, with iRobot. iRobot, a lot of volatility as well. We're almost done with the news, guys. I only got this article and CRM. Then I'm going to review NIO, Jaguar X, Vuzi. <clears throat> Ricey to collaborate with Virgin Galactic for the new supersonic aircraft. Woof, that's good. That's very, very good. Now you see everybody doing videos about Wall Street bets. Everybody doing videos about GameStop. Oh, my goodness. See, we talked about GameStop so long ago. Stranded in PR. Where was your freaking entry, bro? <laughs> when was your entry of GameStop? To give a little bit of perspective about that. But, yeah, right, see, guys, I think there's great potential over here. Let's see, uh, over here. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. <coughs> I want to make sure that I'm doing something right. Okay. Let's see over here, guys. <coughs> Apologies, my voice, man. My voice is insane iRobot files new ITC patent infringement case against Shark Ninja. iRobot has filed a new patent infringement action against Shark Ninja operating LLC and its related entities at the International Trade Commission. 
The new lawsuit asked the ITC to exclude numerous Shark Ninja robotic cleaning products from entering the U.S. for infringement of iRobot patents. iRobot has also filed a co-pending lawsuit in the District of Massachusetts to recover monetary damages from Shark Ninja for its infringement of these five patents. IRBT is the symbol to review. In iRobot, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, we created a higher high. This is very interesting because iRobot has been on my buy list since we crashed and we broke the trend line. Entry is at 47. Right now, uh, the candle yesterday closed at 122. The pre-market price is at 5.6% higher, which is 127. We can go ahead and document the higher highs, which is good. And you know what I'll do? I'm going to do the Fibonacci. The Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Can you see that we're going to do the Fibonacci? It is the way to do the price prediction in this channel. Yes, price prediction for all of you guys for our motherfucking iRobot. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect rejection on the Fibonacci level, guys. See that? Beautiful. But David, that's why we do this every day, guys. Every motherfucking day. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Rinse and repeat. That's how we do it here, guys. I do have targets of 292 for iRobot. It has a lot of potential for me. I know there's going to be a lot of uh, people talking about it right now, but we'll be way ahead of the curve. Shout out to my friend, Stocks for Life. Follow him on his Instagram and tell him, David and Shu, we send a lot of love, okay? We send, we want to spread the love in here, guys. We want to spread the love and the knowledge. And I want to say even shout out to Healthy Junk Food. I hope that JP and Julia are doing amazing with their new dog with Munchie. I love it. They're doing amazing, great content in their YouTube channel. Check them out. And if you want, go to your favorite YouTuber, financial YouTuber, and tell them that David and Chewie send a lot of love. Let's make it viral, guys. Let's make that comment viral. And then, then they were going to ask, who the heck is David and who the heck is Chewie? Right, Chewie? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree, Chewie. I agree. Plus some dividends. Mira para allá. Stranded in PR has confirmed I got GameStop at 5 to $6. Look at that. But when was that? When was that? Stranded in PR. That's an amazing, amazing, amazing entry. <clears throat> Let's see. Now, the last article might be possible to weaken swing. Enter at your own risk. Yep. When you invest, you understand. You need to understand the risk and the reward. That's it. Here we go. Guess that's why they're so broke and you're so paid. Who is? Philip Drake, can you be more specific? Can you provide more clarity? Because your comment doesn't make sense to me. You know? I guess that's why they're broke and you're... What? Dude, who's getting paid in here, bro? I do my own analysis, by the way. But I would like to know a little bit more uh, what you say because if you have it, if you're new here, I would love for you to ask questions and see. Hey, um, members over here, are you are you getting broke over here? Subscribers, are you are you learning over here? Are you earning something from this YouTube channel? So you can um, so you can comment on Phillips Drake's. Comment, guys. Can you can you review the chat room real quick? Philip Drake says, guess that's why they're broke and you're so paid. Members, subscribers, can you provide clarity to this individual? I need to I need to know if you're able to reply to his comment. And I'm glad that you're doing it here live with us, my friend. I am very happy that you're doing it live because you're going to get the comments back to you. So just wait a little bit. So you get the responses. Do you think I'm getting... <laughs> this guy, man. Do you think that I don't wake up every morning and do my research? Don't you think that I wake up and start setting up everything for the YouTube channel? Don't you think that I talk with the community? Don't you think that I provide clarity to my personal perspective? My friend. Hello? Yeah? Once again. Oh, you want to send a message to the haters? 
Yeah, sure, sure. Put a little icy hot on it, turn it sideways, and take it straight up your candy ass. <laughs> You're gonna cook a little bit later, right? Talk to you later, man. Salesforce. But David, but, but, but David, you're not teaching anything. <laughs> Guys, I really want you to reply to this guy. Do it now. <laughs> Members, are you making profit? Give me some Hadoukens. Give me some coins. Let's show this guy what the heck we're doing here. Doesn't seem to understand. Salesforce. Slack. Reportedly refiled merger paperwork with antitrust officials. Salesforce and Slack refiled their merger information with U.S. antitrust officials to give the agency more time to review the deal. According to an M MLEX report, how do you say that? MLEX. <laughs> MLEX. Salesforce plan purchase of Slack is still expected to be approved by U.S. officials without a longer review, the publication said. Work fell 0.4% in after hours trading, and I do believe that there's going to be a very good unity between CRM and Slack. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see over here. <clears throat> CRM. All day, every day. You already know, Solus Prime. You already know. That's my dedication. Oh, David. You Dude, do you get paid when you work? <laughs> man if you don't get paid when you work well that's your passion and that's your hobby or something i did i do music because i love it but i don't get paid for it i love doing music i do love doing this analysis you can even go two years way back and see if i was getting paid <laughs> when i didn't even have the the subscribers or anything dude four thousand hours a thousand subs is freaking hard to achieve but I'm happy that we did it. And Salesforce for me over here, guys, bounced on the 200 EMA, broke the trend line, $226.40. It's doing good. I think it can go up to Piper's target of 242. And I still have some expectations of higher highs going to $324, which I'm going to add as a my target. Because otherwise, you're going to see some other people saying 325 or 330 Coming up soon. You'll see. You'll see. Salesforce going up. And that it is all, everybody, for the news. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? Yes, I can. And he's doing some amazing pancakes. Pancakes! Stars. Let me go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> I love the comments over here. I love, I love that we can have a conversation. By the way, I love your comment, by the way. Uh, Philip Drake, I don't mind it at all. I actually appreciate because... It will provide it will provide perspective, and that for me is very important. I don't I do this every day. My analysis. I do it every day, guys. That's it. So let me go ahead and circle this. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you want to see your comments. In my Instagram, D E I V E D. And here we go. Stranded in PR. Set. A little bit, mira. Let me get back to the to the chat room. Let me go ahead and um, Bitcoin, bitty bitty Bitcoin. Wow, thirty eight thousand a hundred and five guys, going up, up and away. Let's see over here, guys. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Can you see? Sometimes your words see, hypnotize me. <laughs> but David, healthy job, but yes. <laughs> But, but, but David, <laughs> been making money two days after I found David on YouTube. My account has multiplied about five times. I'm rich, bitch. That's what Stranded in PR is saying. All day, every day. QS, we got to take a look at QS. Yes, we got to take a look at QS. Let me, uh, <clears throat> you say e E13, which is good. But guys, I'm going to take a look at NIO, Jaguar X, Vusi, QS. And then over here, here's my analysis for a stitch fix. Ooh, stitch fix. Nice. And you did the chart. <whistles> Loving it. Loving it. Stitch fix. Gennaro with analysis. Loving it. Uh, let me see over here. Just FYI, first samples of REE on its way to Penn State for lab testing. AREC. <whistles> Loving it. AREC. I'm hitting that. <laughs> Are you ready in it, my friend? Let me see over here. 
This is why you're broke and you're so paid. Our lyrics to the to the song hypnotize. Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Philip Drake. <laughs> Philip Drake. I totally misunderstood <laughs> your comment. But you know what? It doesn't matter because. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's the song. This is why you're broke. <laughs> you're so pain. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the comment was... <laughs> Philip, Philip, Philip. Um, I, I have you in the good side, bro. But I said it here. I don't even mind having those type of comments. Actually, haters inspire me a lot. <clears throat> okay, let's start with NIO. Here we go. NIO, do we have any articles about NIO? Philip Drake, if you have a suggestion, a request, let me know. <laughs> okay, here we go. NIO, Papo. Yes, we're kicking booty, bro. NIO gains after Morgan Stanley pushes price target up to street high. Morgan Stanley boosts his price target on NIO to 80. But, but David, didn't you say 80 like months ago? That's why you got to subscribe and ring the bell. On confidence, the electric vehicle's upstart is a strong place to gain more market share. We believe the wealth created by EV autonomous driving may surpass prior replacement cycles, driven by a broadening user base and enriched industry value content. The pace of the reshuffle is also accelerating, as seen among the EV and autonomous driving startups in 2020. Morgan Stanley has an oversight rating on NIO. You guys, we're up. Morgies, I told you. Say hi over here. You got to say hi, my friend. So the first thing that I want to keep in mind is that we broke this trend line over here, created a double bottom. Very, very good. <clears throat> good morning, Kishnu. Good morning. Oh, man. Oh, man. We can go up. We can go up over here. Obviously. <laughs> Look, my target at $80 is already there, guys. I already had it. I didn't put my name, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to add my name. I'm going to add Morgan Stanley. So there you go, guys. There's a potential over here. We're already up pre-market from 5830s to 5940s and higher to 3740s. By the way, Healthy, thank you for thank you for letting me know. Got confused. <laughs> I got confused about the lyrics, guys. <clears throat> so we can go to 8046. It means... 37%. Uh, we're going to do VUSI coming up, Achak. We're going to do VUSI. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I'm literally going to be doing VUSI after Jaguar X. And that's coming up. So 37%. Great potential. I want to see this head to the resistance of 67 first. Then after that, we can capitalize on the opportunity. Having some buy stops at 67, 75 will be awesome. We can definitely keep on going. And after that, I even have some targets at 150s that Luke Lango gave us a long time ago. And I think he can get there. And then <clears throat> Jaguar X. Let's do Jaguar X for Betty. Betty Figuración. Jaguar X already starting to go up. Jaguar X, our entries were at $1. $1? cents. $0.90. Actually, $0.90. Cents. And we are up pre-market already. From two, where was it? From 287 to 339, that's 16.78%. I think we are going to rock it pretty soon. I think we're going to rock it with some guitars, with some drums. Bubblegum is going to pop pretty soon, guys. Watch out because bubblegum, bu hey, whoa, bubblegum, bubblegum, okay? Don't be rude. <laughs> It's gonna explode. It's gonna explode. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Tragame tierra, indeed. Hey, it happens. I, I totally missed. <laughs> I totally, totally. Uh, <laughs> Philip Drake, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Philip Drake. I made a mistake, dude. But you know what? I, I, I do admit when I make a mistake. I don't I don't want to fall into the trap of oh David is is a hater of haters. I'm not a hater of haters. They inspire me. 
But when I saw that comment, I thought, well, man, what the heck? <laughs> but anyways, guys, $3.39 is the current price. <laughs> and we can go. Jaguar X has a lot of potential, guys. If you look at the monthly, I still expect Jaguar X to go $6.45. And you may be wondering, David, what the heck is Jaguar X? <laughs> this is a very interesting one. So Jaguar X, guys, mira. <clears throat> Commercial stage pharmaceuticals company focuses on developing gastrointestinal products for human prescription use and animals worldwide. It operates two reportable segments, human health and animal health. The company, through its wholly owned subsidiary, Napo Pharmaceuticals, <coughs> focuses on developing and commercializing proprietary human gastrointestinal pharmaceutical. <coughs> its human health product pipelines include the crop philemer, which is phase three clinical trial for the treatment of cancer therapy related diarrhea. Okay, guys? And it's cancer therapy, okay? This is very, very important. And I said over here, guys, that healthcare is going to be one of those that we need to look at, as well as for the product of the supportive care of for inflammatory bowel disease, okay, guys? So there's a lot of things they're working on. If you want to find it, a, a little bit of more information, Seeking Alpha is a great source. Check it out. <clears throat> And what I do like is that it's breaking the trend line to continue with summer upside. <laughs> Philip Drake. No mommy's way. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm, I don't have my voice, which is insane. Let me do Vusi for my friend over here, Ashok. By the way, Ashok, thank you for your amazing comments. I'm going to take a picture over here of your comment because I love the positive comments. I think it's something that we need to share with everybody. You know, I just think that it makes sense because sometimes investing in the stock market is a little bit hard to understand. And instead of us, you know, hey, everybody, today we're going to review this, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. I'm trying to give it a little bit of more style with using Microsoft Paint, doing some boom chakalaka here and there. Boom shakalaka! Looking at the charts can be a little bit tedious. Uh, looking at candles, who would have thought, you know, looking at pixels, you know? So let's take a look at Vusi. So I'm going to do the technical for Vusi. You already know what it is, right? Ashok, so you understand the company. I'm actually in Vusi as well. Grab them by the Vusi. <laughs> and Vusi, ladies and gentlemen, has been doing exactly what we wanted. It went up. Look at that. From our previous entry, guys, our entry is over here at $6 already up. This morning, from 12.33... <clears throat> we are down a little bit to to nothing. It's totally flat. I want to see possible retracements over here to 1120s or 1019. Having a buy stop is a good way to not even focus on the chart, you know? <clears throat> the daily, very, very nice. I, 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 I like this. The weekly, it needs to turn into a bullish candle to continue. But the monthly, the true candle that I like is bullish so retracement right now is still keeping this candle bullish if the move is not done today it will happen next month you will see and we already created a double bottom we already capitalized on the opportunities over here around three dollars it's already at 12.33 shout out to everybody who's capitalizing on Vuzi, and i think he has great momentum let's keep that monthly candle today by the way when we review the afternoon show at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, I'm going to be focusing a lot on that monthly candle and then the weekly, okay? Keep it in mind. And then let's review QS. By the way, what was the sim Oh, Stitch Fix? F Stitch Fix is coming up. Quantum Scape, one of those that has fallen, but it requires patience, guys. I do think that Quantum Scape has potential if it breaks... $51.86. I do believe it can go back to 132, which it can be equal to 153%. Looking at the four hour, we're still consolidating. So no confirmation just yet for me. Still looks like it can even drop a little bit more. It's not bad. It's just that we left some gaps behind over here. But I'm still thinking that once we get confirmations, this is going to rock it. It's, it just needs a little bit of time. So that requires patience. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get 
over here guys uh over here <clears throat> new window let me let me open that link that you sent Gennaro studio real quick guys give me a second and <laughs> Brucey there you go John snack hopefully you snacked on that one My man is a living legend. No, you know who's a living legend? Connor McLeod. You are the living legend, dude. You are helping this community and channel to grow. This is this this is why I do it, man. I I do do you know why I do these videos? First of all, because I wanted to spread the message about investment because retail investment is necessary for us to have the direction of the market that we want to go. But the other thing that I wanted, that the reason why I wanted to do these videos was because I am passionate about the charts, about doing the analysis and all of this, guys. I do it every morning. So I was like, Mary for Alice, she told me, David, I like the stock market, but not as much as you. <laughs> Maybe you want to do a YouTube video about it. <laughs> and look how, how it has evolved, guys. Look at how it has evolved. Um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and take a look at this article over here. I still remember those days, man. Hey, send me the article at uh, Gennaro. I, I'm not even able to see this. Oh, where are they? I'm not able to see the the live chat for some. I can see the link. Gennaro, where is the link, bro? I need to see the link. Ah, oh, man, I can't see it. Let me see real quick. Ah, I can see it now. No, I can't. Gennaro, send me the link. Send me the link right now. I need to see the link. <clears throat> Before I get to Stitch FX, okay? Let me do A-R-E-C and then L-U-M-N. And if you want to see your chat, uh, your comment in the in my Instagram, just go ahead and do it. I, I'm... Every time you post something beautiful, I just go ahead and repost it, guys. It, it, I mean, we do this every day, guys. What can I tell you? A-R-E-C. Let's do it. A-R-E-C. American Resources Corporation. Beautiful, beautiful opportunities. Let me see if there's any article because I know my friend over here said that A-R-E-C had some news. Wednesday, January 6th, nothing in Seeking Alpha. But what I'll do is the technical for you, my friend. So technically speaking, thank you, Yenaro. Then after this one, I'll do yours, okay? Uh-oh, the internet is funky yonky. What's happening here? There you go. <coughs> A-R-E-C, ladies and gentlemen. Still bullish, pre-market. We are at 242, so that means we're down a little bit. But still bullish, still bullish. I like it. I like that the, it's still bullish. For me, AREC can go back up to 493. After that, I see good potential for $12 and $18. Solus Prime and I are riding this one together. I've been in it for quite a while as well. And <clears throat> the trend line indicates that there is some potential upside. Always invest using disposable income and using money that you are willing to lose. Never use money that you need. When we break the resistance level of $3, we can go up to 60%. You definitely can do that. And ladies and gentlemen, that will be an amazing thing. Actually, it's very interesting what's been happening, guys. We, we, this is a revolution, an evolution of the market. I don't like to short the market. That's my personal preference. But the interesting thing is that um, other countries actually have it illegal like it's illegal to short the market in other countries for some reason in the united states is able and i think that yes the people who knew about all of this were really taking money out of people's hands and now it is our time guys it is our time okay hell yeah it is time it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum And I'm all out of gum. Thank you very much, my friend. Cowabunga! Still can go to 493. <clears throat> And let's see, John Snack says, Oh, I love you too. I love you too, Danny. I really do. Like, I really want people to have a little bit of more optimism in life. I know there's a lot of deep stuff that we've been struggling with. 
See this going to $10 before five years, pays a great dividend while you wait. Buy this dip. Nice. Your passion inspires everyone here. Keep doing what you're doing, sir. Thank you for that, for your beautiful words, man. I really appreciate it a lot. I really do. So now let's go to Gennaro's to article. Gennaro, I got you. You know how I am, man, Gennaro. It's already 8.29, so it's a perfect time. Ah, oh, it's not an article. Gennaro is actually your chart. Guys, this is what I want to see from everybody. Oh, my goodness. Let me go ahead and add a timestamp. Oh, TNXP. Wow, that's that one I haven't seen for quite a while. So Gennaro Di Carlo is sending us his chart, which I love, love, love to see charts from the subscribers and the members. If you want to be a member, check out the join button. If you want to do a super chat, a super sticker, that will definitely help this community and help this channel grow to the Mr. Beast level. Right, Randy? Oh, yeah! I like that you got the resistance levels. Love it. I like the resistance level at 102. I like the resistance level at 108. I see the Fibonacci being done, very nicely done. So I see that you're doing the Fibo from the high to the low over here. I would even say that it could even, oh, no, no, to the low over here. Nice. It's just that I don't see the whole picture for some reason. But Gennaro Stitch Fix is on an uptrend, liking the trend line. Beautiful. And you could even, let me go ahead and do this analysis real quick for you. So this symbol is stitch fix, S-F-I-X, S-F-I-X. <clears throat> Let me start, and this was what uh, you did it on the, what time frame is this, Gennaro? I can't even see the time frame here. Is it daily? Is it five days? What is this, Gennaro? What is the time frame? Let me know. Is it five minutes? Well, Stitch Fix over here, guys. Let's add the resistance level. That's the first thing we got to do. We got to add the <clears throat> support level, 54, higher highs at 113. Let's do the weekly. Weekly, still bullish. Pre-market. Where is it pre-market, though? I don't even know. I don't even know where it's in, in pre-market. So, oh, the market also just opened, guys. $101 for Stitch Fix. I think you did it in the lower time frame. A little late on the bell. Nah, this is all good. It's all good. We can do the Fibonacci here from the higher high to the higher low. And then we can add some levels. See, adding 119, 126, 147. And my friend, if you're going <laughs> to, Matthew, if you're going to put your friends and family into the stock market, maybe share your own links, you know, share your own links. You know that if you share my link of Webull, check out the link in the description, you get four free shares. But if you want to use your own link, you're more than welcome to do that, my friend, because it will give you liquidity. It will give you some free shares that you can actually liquidate in the future, which is good. Stitch Fix over here seems to be very bullish right now. Looking very nice. I think we are going to go up after we hit this 50 EMA. I like this kind of double bottom type of thing. Didn't love that it was creating some um, lower lows, but it rejected the 50 EMA, which is good. Let me add a trend line over here. When this trend line gets broken, we can definitely confirm more upside. I do like Stitch Fix. Seems to me that it makes sense to go up up to over here 113 you can even go up to 126 something that i've been keeping my eye on and let's see if it comes well not something that Gennaro di carlo has been keeping an eye on <clears throat> you see i go automatic already guys but stitch fix has a great potential my friend let me see i don't see that oh the targets above i don't see the targets above but it seems like you are well aligned to 108 and 114. Yeah, man. I think you're good. I think you're good. That's the weekly. Weekly. The weekly. Weekly. This is not the weekly, you know. The weekly looks like this. See, the weekly looks like this. Am I too close? No, no, no. We're good. 
Check, check it out, Gennaro. Let me know because it seems more like this. See? It's five minutes. It's the five minutes. See that? What you show me is the five minutes. It says over here, look, five over here. That's five. But great, great chart. I'm loving it. <coughs> I'm loving it. And then the other thing that you added is the strand line, which is good. It's breaking the resistance level over here, which is beautiful, above the 200 EMA. Stops over here at 109, 113, looking good. And then let me do LUMN. That's going to be the last one for today, guys, before I say goodbye, which is going to be the next, the first song ever that I'm going to release as my personal project. Is it better to invest monthly or weekly? It really depends. Really depends. Uh, depends on your stream of income. I actually invest every week to my Drip PD Drip strategy portfolio, but I invest sometimes even every day. <laughs> it's, it's just like that, man. Yes, sir, I want them to start learning. And when I'm ready to open another account, I'm using your link for Webull. Ah, amazing. But just to let you know, you can use your own links to share the love, okay? Con mucho, mucho amor. I do recommend Coinbase. And the link is in the description, John Snack. The reason why I recommend Coinbase, one, it may become a public company. That's important. Two, they are trying to get public so that's did i say that already maybe that's what i said they're trying to go public and the other thing what i'm waiting from the biden administration is an sec chairman appointee that understands the crypto market and understands the digital interfaces that we're using to invest that's gonna be the key for us to be successful it's not that we want to we don't want to depend on the government in that particular way, but it will give us the opportunity to invest without worries, which is what we need, guys. The market is done for everybody. The stock market, the crypto market is for everyone. It's not for a particular group. You know, I have always said this. Have you ever, guys, saw uh, saw the, the, the movie Skulls or something like that? I think that they were sharing some information. You know what was the information? The stock market. They were teaching each other how to invest in the stock market. That's what I feel it was. And then a lot of people starting to talk about the foreign exchange market, which is another market, a highly volatile market, but a very good market to even start learning, guys. I, I learn a lot with the Forex market because it's faster than the stock market. It's way faster. Check out Weekstone Lie. He actually invests in the Forex market a lot. Tell them that, tell him that David and Shui send a lot of love. But guys, as you can see, LUMN starting to look good. I think this one can go to 21 once again. Let me look at the weekly. Yeah, uh, if we close above the 200 EMA, it's going to be a game changer. But we can expect everything to be done in one day. We already hit that target of the 50 EMA at 16. <clears throat> Guys, I'm sorry. My voice is like almost gone. 23 It's looking good. I think this one looks like it can continue with the upside. What I'll do for you, my friend, Fibonacci. Philip Drake, I'm sorry. Phoebe, 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 can you see that we're going to do the Fibonacci Sigolo? <laughs> oh, man, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That screw up. That was a screw up, but that's fine. We we make mistakes here. We're, do you think I'm perfect? Psst. I mean, I'm very close to it, but do you know what's perfect? Nothing. Nothing is perfect. You know, that's the beautiful thing about life. That is not perfect. You got ups and downs, just like the market. A lot of people may say that God is perfect. Some people may say that the universe is perfect. Some people may say that David is perfect and Chewie is perfect. But I will say, enjoy the ride. Because when we get to that goal, you're going to look behind and you're going to be saying, holy mafongo, we did some salsa. <laughs> See, $12.48, guys. 
I think Lumen, uh, L Lumen Technologies seems like we're going to go up. David, do you have a Coinbase link? I do, my friend. It's on the description. I do have it. I, I can share the, the Weeble and the Coinbase. Uh, let me share this with all of you. Like I said, guys, the important thing is that these companies needed, they needed what is currently happening. I'm telling you all, it was needed. What Robinhood did, needed. Why? Because it's going to give us opportunity for these companies to become public. When they become public, we will have more information on how they manage business. So I, oh, sh Nike, let me, let me do this real quick. This is the Weeble account. The link for those who want four free shares. Weeble has blessed us with an affiliate link. And Coinbase is over here as well. You will get, by the way, if you invest in, in Bitcoin, Coinbase, $100, you will get $10 for free for Bitcoin. When you invest $100 in Weeble, you will get four free shares. What's the stack name of the Fibonacci feature? I always get the colorful one. Is it the same? Yes, it is the same. It's just that I edit it. So let me show you, uh, Gennaro. Let me show you real quick my settings. And with this, we, we can conclude the video, guys. I just need to rest a little bit because my voice is already gone. <clears throat> Mira para allá, Nokia. A 495, guys. Let me see something that I can do a Fibonacci real quick. Let me do a, 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 a Snapchat. Should I do it on Snapchat? I don't know. Snapchat. Let's do it on... I don't know, man. Where should I do it? Anyways, let me show you over here in NIO real quick. So with NIO, I go from the higher highs to the lower low, and that's when we draw. When I click on this right click, um, <clears throat> you can see settings. You will, be, you will be able to see trend line, level lines. I have it all over here with lines. I don't have the background, okay? I don't have the background color. Reverse, uncheck prices, levels, values, right, middle. And then you can see coordinates, which is the top and down. Visibility, pop, 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 pop. So I don't have it with colors, my friend. And you can see over here to the left that I use the Fibonacci retracement. Fibonacci retracement. There you go. That's the one that I use. But usually you will have the backgrounds. I just don't like the backgrounds. I just like having my my lines. I don't need backgrounds. <clears throat> Let me see the background real quick. See? I don't like that. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. <clears throat> well, guys, that's the video for this morning. It is 841. We didn't go that much longer than usual. I will see you this afternoon. For this afternoon, I recommend at 6.30 p.m. Central Time to bring a little bit of beer, wine, a little bit of the chewy. You know what I mean, right, chewy? <laughs> because we're going to review the monthly candles. I want to have it a little bit relaxed today. My voice is a little bit gone, and I apologize about that. But we've been killing it. We've been having amazing movements. My friend Khalid, Football TV, I do like Football TV for long term. We already reviewed. You can go uh, once again and dale rewind al video. Um, but you can see that Fubo TV is already a buy in my book because we broke the trend line and we're getting some good targets from Needham. And I actually think that it can go to 89. Plus, the Super Bowl is coming up next. And that is it, man. What's the exact name of uh, David, if you decide to do a webinar or chart, sign me up. <laughs> we're doing already. So, Stranded in PR, I actually recommend becoming a member because I will be doing members only videos coming up soon. So keep that in mind. Thank you all for being here. We do it every day. I'm going to get some tea. Thank you all. And as always, we do the videos with a lot of love. Con mucho, mucho amor. Have a beautiful morning.